hours of an in-camera session by members of parliament to firm up the disbursement formula for statutory funds such as the district assembly's common fund and get fund for the year the house convened at plenary for a statement on the internet disruption and outage in the country from the communications minister and that is why the nca indicated that it would take a minimum time of period of about five weeks for full services to be restored immediate initiatives that needs the government will undertake is that we will license satellite gateway air stations london rights and satellite air station networks one web has already been licensed starlink is in the process of being licensed and other operators are being encouraged to land in ghana we must also invest in operationalizing rascom the regional african satellite company instead of each company each country going it alone all network operators must arrange and implement alternative routes to restore full services as they are currently doing. Members of Parliament took turns to comment on the statement made by the Honourable Minister on the floor of the House today. The private sector is losing money. We as individuals, how to even reach our constituents became a problem. So we want your regulator to be more proactive. The regulator has slept on his job. And today we are found in this position. And then we want to raise our hands up in the air and say, oh, other countries that were affected have recovered and are recovering faster than Ghana. The impact is so huge economically. The minister they didn't quantify that, the economic impact of it. Talk about health, talk about education, where research will be uh, affected, talk about trade. In fact, mobile money alone, where people cannot transact uh, mobile money services, you know, it means business will not go. MP for Tamale North called for a similar briefing session with the energy minister on the intermittent power challenges or do so in the country. On Tuesday, the Electoral Commission chairperson and her lieutenants are expected in Parliament to brief the House on their preparedness for the 2024 general elections. Duke Ben Sopoku, TV3 News, Parliament House, Accra.